Hello, friends. Today on Storytime with Lorelei, we are reading another book in the Little Animal Adventure series. You can find all the other books on my channel. And don't forget to click the like button and share this video with all of your friends. So let's read together Silly Little Hedgehog. Harvey, a very little hedgehog, and his family lived in a hole under an old stone wall. All summer long, the wall gave them shelter because it was covered with thorny raspberry branches and lush green leaves. Whenever the hedgehogs wanted a bite to eat, they didn't have to go very far. Plenty of fruits and mushrooms grew nearby. Most hedgehogs would have been quite content to busy themselves in the bramble, but not Harvey. Harvey was always straying from the wall to bring back treasures from the garden. He collected bunches of flowers, a gardener's old leather boot, and three statues of funny little garden gnomes. Harvey needed all these things because he was the clown of the family. He was a silly little hedgehog and very different from his brothers and sisters. He loved putting on crazy costumes. He'd do anything to get a laugh. One day, he plucked three tulips with his teeth and then stuck them on his spines and pretended he was a flower holder. Bravo! Bravo! his family shouted. Encouraged by their cheering, Harvey dashed off for another prop. He dragged over the old gardener's boot and jumped on it. Then he rolled over on his back and hollered, Look at me! I'm a shoeshine brush! Everyone laughed and laughed. But that wasn't the end of Harvey's act. He wondered how he could use those little statues from the garden to make his family laugh. Harvey climbed up on one of the statues and clung to its neck. Then he rolled himself up into a ball. Are you all right, Harvey? asked his mother. Of course I am, her silly son answered. I'm the beard on the chin of this gnome. And his brothers and sisters, who had never seen a garden gnome wearing a beard like that before, laughed so hard they all rolled over. Eventually, the gray and dreary days of fall returned. The hedgehog family had to move from their hole under the wall by the beautiful garden. They needed to find a sheltered spot deep in the woods where they would not be too cold. We'll be leaving this evening once it gets dark, Mother said. You must do as I say and watch out for Mr. Owl, children. All that mean old bird dreams of is catching one of you. As soon as night had fallen, the hedgehog family marched off in single file. The tallest one led the pack, while Mother Hedgehog took up the rear guard so she could keep an eye on Harvey. He was always so silly. At first, everything went fine. They even met a lovely young rabbit out for a moonlight stroll. Once they were deep inside the forest, however, they were in real danger. Don't make any noise, children said their mother hedgehog that old mr owl can hear everything but just as she finished warning them to be quiet harvey let out a scream a moth had frightened him by flying right in front of him all the little hedgehogs panicked they ran every which way making quite a lot of noise then suddenly, Mr. Owl appeared. Without thinking, Harvey ran off the path and found himself all alone at the edge of a field of wheat. He looked up, and there was the owl, just 
about to catch him. Poor Harvey, he was terrified. He looked for a place to hide. All he could see in the distance was a man standing in the middle of the field, his scarf blowing in the wind. Sir, sir, please help me, cried the silly little hedgehog as he raced towards the man. Now, Mr. Owl wasn't foolish like that little hedgehog. He knew very well that it was only a scarecrow, and he knew that the scarecrow couldn't do anything to help the little hedgehog. So Mr. Owl just flew along behind Harvey, snickering loudly and without any hurry. He was certain there was no chance that the little hedgehog would escape him this time. Suddenly, a gust of wind tore the hat off the scarecrow. The wind blew it up in the air and then sent it flying down, right on top of Harvey's spiny little back. The owl soared higher up into the air, circling and cackling over his victory. But then, when he looked down again, all he could see was a hat. A hat moving all by itself through the blades of wheat. The big round eyes of Mr. Owl were suddenly wide open. He could not understand what had happened. A moment ago, he had been chasing a tiny, helpless hedgehog. Sure that he must be losing his mind, Mr. Owl flew away, hooting, Hoo! 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 A long time after the owl had left, the big hat could still be seen, scurrying this way and that across the field and screaming, Mama! Mama! Attracted by the loud cries, Mother Hedgehog caught up to the hat. She could tell it was her own silly little son. Dear Harvey, she said, very much relieved, you are so silly. You'll do anything for a laugh, won't you? We all thought you were in danger, and here you are, running around in another one of your costumes, Mother Hedgehog said. Harvey wanted to explain everything, but that would have taken too long. He was so happy to see her that this time he followed along after his mother like a good little hedgehog, holding tight to his new lucky hat. Did you know, when a hedgehog is frightened, he rolls himself up into a ball, completely pulling in his paws and covering his face. A hedgehog is white at birth and has soft spines. These spines fall out as the tiny hedgehog grows. They are replaced by stiffer spines that are dark gray and hard. Hedgehogs are very clever. They stick pieces of fallen fruit to themselves by rolling over them. They use the fruit stuck to their spines as cushions in case they have to jump down from a high place. During the summertime, hedgehogs live in bushes, in holes along old walls, or in haystacks. During the winter, they live in wood piles or in abandoned rabbit dens. Hedgehogs eat insects, snails, caterpillars, snakes, toads, and frogs. They also eat fruit and mushrooms. Polecats, buzzards, wild boars, and foxes eat hedgehogs. But their greatest enemies are owls because of their ability to see hedgehogs from high above due to their keen eyesight. Hello friends, if you go to my YouTube channel, Storytime with Lorelei, you will find a link to a Google Doc with all of my other books listed by name and genre. Please subscribe and don't forget to share my channel with all of your friends. Bye for now.